Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use weekday function in Excel. Weekday function takes the serial number of a date as input and it gives you the number of days that have elapsed in that week, in the running week. So it would return a number between 1 and 7 because 7 are the number of days in a week and if 3 days have passed in the current week then it will return 3. If 4 days have passed then it will return 4. So let me show you how this works. I type weekday, I hit tab to autocomplete the function and you can see this takes two arguments. First is the serial number and the other one is return type which is in square brackets. Square brackets indicate that this is optional. Uh, I'll come back to this later. Let me talk about serial number first. As you would know, Excel stores dates and time as serial number. So in this function, we would feed the serial number and this would give us the number of days that have elapsed in the running week. So here I have a date and I choose this date A2. Again to reiterate, this is looking like a date which is 1st March 2014 but the actual value is a serial number. Now when I hit control enter, this gives me 7 which means that in the week of 1st March 2014, the current week that is running, 7 days has elapsed. But if you go back to the calendar and check, you would notice that this is a Saturday. So we would expect this to return 6 because we uh, in usual have a perception that week starts from Monday and ends on Sunday. So this should be 6 but Excel by default starts the week on Sunday and ends it on Saturday. So by that logic, this gives us 7 because Saturday is the 7th day of the week. But if you do not like it, if you want your Monday to start, uh, if you want your week to start on a Monday, then you can change that. And here is where the optional argument will, would come in. So here's the serial number. I again choose A2. And as I press comma, you can see this gives me a whole lot of options. It says you should type 1 or select this option if you want Sunday to be the first day and Saturday to be the last day which is by default the option if you do not choose anything it will be the first option. It says choose two, the second option or type 2 if you want Monday to be the first day and Sunday to be the last day and similarly you have a whole lot of options here you can explore this but this is the second one is the option that I want so I double click on this it automatically inserts two. You can manually type it as well. And I hit control enter. And now this gives me six. Looking at this date, it checks this. It's, it sees that, that this is a Saturday and so it returns six. Now weekday function would also work with dates that are stored as text. So as of now you see that this says give me the serial number and here I said that this date looks like a date but this is a serial number but in this case which is A3 this is not a serial number this is text but if your text is formatted in a way that Excel understands that this is a date which is this format 101-March uh, MAR or MARCH-2014 Excel would understand that this is a date and you can use this in weekday function so now if I hit enter this gives me 7 which is the same result as this because these two dates are same but this is not a serial number this is text to make this more clear let me manually type this in the formula so I type 01-MAR-2014 within double quotes and now when I hit control enter this gives me 7 so weekday function can works with serial numbers dates as well as text that is formatted in a date format. So this is how weekday function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.